Hey, what's going on, you awesome Sonic dudes? My name is Ultra Sonic Hero, and today I am here to bring you back in time to the retro gaming nostalgia in the 2000s. And I will be doing a comparison with the GameCube console for retro gaming, and to help me experiment on that, I will be using the Kaiko HDMI adapter for the GameCube along with the M Classic Upscaler. Now, I purchased this years back, and I will explain more about these two later on throughout the video. But it does beg the question, will the Kaiko HDMI adapter for the GameCube represent good quality, or will it be another skeptical scam? Let's find out together as we cue the intro. This is the GameCube, a home video game console developed and marketed by Nintendo. This was released in Japan on September 14th, 2001, and 22 years later, I still enjoy playing retro games up to this day, which is related in today's video because I am going to be doing an analysis on both the HDMI adapter and the M Classic Upscaler. And to demonstrate for each of the comparisons, I am going to be playing one of my most cherished games since I played since I was a teenager. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes, I know, Shadow the Hedgehog is not a good game in your opinion, but come on. At least give him some credit. And to start us off, I'm going to be explaining the information which is at the back of this box. And here's what it has to say. The majority of modern televisions have connectivity via HDMI and lack some of the older inputs which retro game consoles use. With the Kaiko HDMI adapter cable, you can bring your old Nintendo GameCube games back to life on a newer TV and relive those gaming classics with a simple plug and play solution. Compatible with all modern TVs with a HDMI input, supports 240p, 480i, 480p, 2 times video modes into a single HDMI output. Compatible with GameCubes that have a digital port, for example, NTSC and PAL. Now, I would have gone to purchase the GC HD Mark II, but the big problem is they are expensive and you would not believe the prices on Amazon and eBay. And they are so difficult to get. Lastly, to record retro gameplays, I am going to be testing it out with the Elgato HD 60S because I like to run the retro games at 1080p at 60 frames for smoother performance and smooth frame rate. Inside of the Kaiko HDMI adapter, you will get a USB cable, an instructions manual, a HDMI adapter, the remote control, and of course, a GameCube accessory which you can insert at the back of your console to help support the HDMI adapter in case it falls. As the information said at the back of the box, it's a simple plug and play, so you shouldn't have any difficulties with it. A fair reminder, I did have a bit of a struggle for my first time trying to adjust the settings, the resolution, contrast, brightness, and the line doubler. It was a bit of a struggle to begin with, but I got used to it eventually, so that way I can just um, improve on the graphics and all. But now it's time to see what the Kaiko HDMI adapter really has to offer based on the quality. Watch out, Shadow. Sections of the roadway are being destroyed by those black creatures' bombs. Don't let their warships get... Visually, the gameplay graphics for the HDMI adapter for the GameCube looks really good. Kaiko are well known for their HDMI adapters and how they improve retro quality gaming. Again, the attention to detail is just well paid off. Now that we have tested the Kaiko HDMI adapter for the GameCube, it's now time to put this bad boy to the test. And here is what the box says at the back. PC gamers are able to upgrade their graphics card while console gamers have been limited by locked hardware. Not anymore. The M Classic is here to be the world's first add-on graphics processor for video game consoles. Yes, you read right. The M Classic is like having a new graphics card without the hassle of modifying your game console. Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, PlayStation 2, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, GameCube, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, 
Sega Dreamcast, and many more. Inside of the M Classic, you will get, of course, the upscaler, the HDMI extension cable, and the USB power cable. Just like before, it's a simple plug and play, and it provides you with the instructions provided on the manual. As provided in the manual, there are three modes from the upscaler. The mode is off, no upscaling. Mode 2, it not only upscales the quality but sharpens as well. Mode 3, Retro Mode, optimized for retro games including 4x3 aspect ratio. Also at the back of the instructions manual, it will provide inputs and outputs for gaming resolutions and frame rates. For this gameplay test, I am going to be switching to Retro Mode and use the M Classic along with the Kaiko HDMI adapter to see if the visuals are even better than the gameplay that I recorded on my other attempt. So let's have a look. You'll notice a difference to the screen size, and that's because Retro Mode is enabled for the M Classic. If I was to enable the processor for upscaling and sharpness, then it could probably blur out some parts of the gameplay. Negative aside, the M Classic does the gameplay justice. You can see that the text is even more clearer, along with the subtitles and the visuals. So let's compare that with both of these videos. Looking at the results, I believe it is confirmed that the Kaiko HDMI adapter with the M Classic Upscaler represents much better quality than just the Kaiko HDMI adapter on its own. It's true the M Classic does shrink the screen only a little notch, however that is something that I can abide and it's something that I'm happy with. So there you have it, that was my comparison for the HDMI adapter for the GameCube along with the M Classic and with these two together that made a really good high quality retro gaming video. That was all worth it in the end. The results were absolutely worth it, and I would highly recommend getting this without a doubt. If you're looking to upscale and improve the gaming quality for retro gaming, such as the GameCube, this is the one to go for. And it's much better than just going for the GC HD Mark II, because again, they are very expensive and they're difficult to get, so this one I would highly recommend. And that brings us to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed- Excuse me? Hey, what's up, dudes? My name is Sebastian McFully. What? Yes, yes, I know it's a weird name, but listen, I'm gonna keep this short and brief. You got a special delivery. What do you mean, special delivery? Cash! Jeez, you'll figure out what to do with this thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back upstairs to watch some Hell's Kitchen! Have a good one! Don't have your bum! Now, now, just hold on a second, you can't just leave me- And he left. And he came in to interrupt my recording session at that time! Schmuck! Hmm. But it does give me an idea. You know what? I'm feeling rather generous. How about we do a giveaway? That's right, I'll be hosting another giveaway competition, so for your chance to win this amazing prize, the 30th anniversary edition of Classic Sonic, all that you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notified on all of my uploads, and make sure to leave the comment hashtag giveaway in the comment section below. You can also place your entry on Twitter, so make sure to give the tweet a like, follow my Twitter and leave hashtag giveaway in the comment section below. And again, your entry will be counted. Entries will be closed on the day that I start my next stream on a weekend for Freedom Planet Part 2. And the winner will be revealed at the end of the live stream. Make sure that you follow the rules specifically. Like, subscribe, 
Hashtag all your giveaway and your entries will be counted. The more entries that you place in, the better chances of winning this prize. And that does it for today's video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to get notified on all of my uploads. Make sure to check out my social media platforms. The links are down in the description below. You can also follow me on my non-Sonic channel, Ultra Evolution. That too will be provided down below. And as always, I hope to see all of you in a brand new video. Take care.